Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we're looking at home lengths 1.8. That's unit 1, lesson 8, grouping by multiples of 10. Now, this ties into the uh, lesson that we did previously uh, that dealt with boxes of bagels that we grouped into 25, 5, or 1. This is, is just an analogy for place value. So let's take a look at this story problem. Alfie is ordering table tennis balls, also known as ping pong balls, uh, for the recreation center. A box holds 10 balls. A carton of table tennis balls holds 10 boxes. So, these problems that you see here all have to do with a box of table tennis balls or a carton of table tennis balls. Now, this is looking somewhat familiar, and I'm guessing you might know what uh, we're uh, alluding to. Because when we're thinking about a box of 10 table tennis balls, what we're really thinking about is base 10 blocks, okay? So right here, I'm just going to uh, place this picture right here, and I'm going to lock it in place. So now as we're talking about uh, these boxes of table tennis balls. What we really need to be doing is just translating their names into tens and hundreds. So when I have a box of table tennis balls, what I'm really talking about is tens. And when I have a carton of ten boxes, of 10, 10 times 10, of course, would be 100. Okay, so we've cracked the code. How many table tennis balls are in one carton? Well, if there are 10 balls in one box, and there's 10 boxes in a carton, 10 times 10 is 100. Like so. Okay, let's continue. So problem number two says, Alfie ordered seven cartons and three boxes of table tennis balls. How many balls did he order? So again, if I use my super decoder ring and realize that uh, we're just talking about hundreds and tens here, if I write the word hundred, over the word carton and the word 10 over the word boxes if Alfie ordered 703 tens of table tennis balls how many balls did he order? Show how you know your answer is correct. So I would need you to show me uh, a diagram or draw me a picture of what 700s and 310s would look like and what would that be total. Okay, so now that we've cracked the code, this is looking pretty easy, right? Okay, so I want you to finish problem number two on your own. And then on number three, it says explain how cartons and boxes for table tennis balls are like the digits for numbers in our base 10 number system. Well, that is just basically explaining that a box of tennis balls is the same as a group of 10 ones. That's basically what counting is for. Being able to assign a number to an amount of things laying in front of you. It could be uh, matchbox cars or comic books or Pokemon cards, whatever it is that you collect. Uh, if you want to know how many you have in your collection, you got to count them and you've got to be able to group them somehow. So that's why we have groups of tens and hundreds and a base 10 place value system. So go ahead and finish this up on your own. I want you to also uh, try the practice problems down at the bottom. Just because they're not at the top doesn't mean they're not important for you to do. Uh, if you have questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, we'll talk again soon. Thanks, friends.